Sad news from Major League Baseball yesterday, in particular the Los Angeles Dodgers. Longtime Dodger, and I'm talking, I think he came up with the Dodgers. I think he might have came up with the Phillies, but uh, longtime Dodger. Dodger great and a great manager. Time of the sort of passed away yesterday at the age of 93. Uh, he had been sick lately, but uh, you know he was still visible at the games. He still went to the park. I don't know if he went the last couple of years. I know he didn't go last year. But uh, let me tell you, as a Giants fan, you're, you're, you're taught to hate the Dodgers. You have to hate the Dodgers. And that's just not from California. This goes all the way back to when they were in, in New York. When they were in Brooklyn and the Giants were over in, uh, well, they were in Gotham, I guess you could say. And Tommy Lasorda was the epitome of what the Dodgers were. If you, You'd ask him, he'd say, hey, look, if you cut me open, I believe Dodger blue, which we fucking Giant fans hated. We hated that. However, we did respect what he did as a manager. And the guy was impressive as a manager. He knew how to communicate with his players. He got the best out of them. And he won the title twice. He won two World Series crowns, even though I'm still not technically counting the 81. However, for him, I'll count it. Uh, he retired in 1996. He was having heart troubles, uh, so he retired halfway in the season. I never got over it. It was hard to look at the Dodger dugout without Tommy Lasorda in it because that's the dude you would scream at. And he'd wave at the fans. Again, he got it. However, you develop a respect for uh, for Tommy when, after he retired, the Giants flagship KBR would have him on, and he would be more than happy to talk about Giants-Dodgers and what it meant. And when the Giants would actually have events, would the Dodgers were involved with it for Old Timers Day. Uh, they had a special thing for the Giants-Dodgers rivalry. And Tommy Lasorda always came out. Again... He was a great ambassador for baseball, but he really knew what the importance was of the Giants-Dodgers rivalry. And you respect that. Even though I, when I put on a hat, it's, uh, it's black and orange. All right, And when I see that puke-ass Dodger blue, it just makes me sick. But that doesn't mean you don't respect what the rivalry is. And Tommy Lasorda was the one who really, he really embedded that. So, rest in peace. I, I got a video here that I spliced it together. It's two things. The audio portion is Tommy was sort of talking about Kurt Bavakwa. By the way, it's not suitable for work, so if your kids are watching, a couple things. One, why are they watching this? And two, uh, <laughs> the second part is it's a video with him and the Philly Fanatic back in 1988. <clears throat> and the Philly Fanatic was just letting him have it, you know, doing his job. But Tommy Lasorda wasn't having any part of it, so I combined both of them. I hope you enjoy the uh, video. It's a, it's a tribute to Tommy Lasorda. And I do say this, uh, rest in peace, Dodger fans. Uh, this Giants fan is, uh, I get it. So, rest in peace, Tommy Lasorda. In between innings, Tommy, he's out there as the Philly fanatic as a stuffed mannequin. I'm a Dodger, and Tommy trying to get that fanatic club. Tell you what I think about it. I think that is very, very bad for that man to make an accusation like that. That is terrible. I have never, ever, since I've managed, ever told a pitcher to throw at anybody, nor will I ever. And if I ever did, I certainly wouldn't make him throw at a fucking 130 hitter like Lafay or fucking Bavacqua who couldn't hit water if he fell out of a fucking boat. And I guarantee fucking to you this, when I pitched and I was going to pitch against a fucking team that had guys on it like Bavacqua, I sent a fucking limousine to get the cocksucker to make sure he was in the motherfucking lineup because I kicked that cocksucker's ass any fucking day in a week. <laughs> He's a fucking motherfucking big mouth, I'll tell you that. 